All right. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Brown from KHUX Nation and oh my god. <laughs> we have some brand new medals in the game. Spoiler alert, I'm not very impressed, uh, but we'll, we'll, we'll go over them. Now, just a quick side note. I know this uh, video is a day late. I do just want to ask you guys to please, you know, be patient. I am currently going through some changes here at home. Uh, I am completely revamping and upgrading my entire YouTube setup, which will come out in a later video. I am kind of uh, documenting everything that happens. Uh, so that way you guys can see what's going on and, and kind of share the experience with me. Because uh, it's honestly really cool for me overall. Uh, obviously you can't see it in this video because I'm using the green screen, which I got a new green screen by the way. Yeah, I'll, I'll explain that in a different video. I'm very excited though is all you need to know. But without further ado, let's go ahead and go over the new medals. All right. Uh, they are dis from the Dissidia collaboration. Well, it's not collaboration. It's They're from Dissidia, though. We have Supernova Plus, Kingdom Hearts, Cloud Dissidia, and as well as Kingdom Hearts, Leon Dissidia. Okay. Now, like I mentioned before, I'm not thoroughly impressed by these, but we'll we'll get to that in a second. All right. So, starting on... Uh, no, 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 no. All right, so this is what they look like. Honestly, I love the artwork. It's really cool. It's just unfortunate <laughs> that they they aren't. Honestly, they're not that great. Um, because honestly, I I would love to get these myself, especially for Cloud. Oh my God, Cloud looks dope. But because of the fact that the medals aren't exactly that great, they're an easy skip for me at least. Uh, it doesn't really warrant me wanting to get it. Okay, so first of all, Supernova Plus, Kingdom Hearts, Cloud, Dissidia. Uh, it's a power upright metal. Okay, tier 10 costs two gauges has a damage multiplier of 53.49 to a 70.06 is AoE and does three hits for three attacks This is the major aspect of why I don't like these two metals. It's because their ability only lasts for three attacks and I'll go more into that in a bit in a second. Okay for three attacks increases power metal strength by 2500 that's a huge amount. Although, because of the three attacks part of the ability, ends up being not that great. Okay. Now, for the rest of the ability, for one turn, increases your upright strength by 15 tiers, general and power strength by 10 tiers, lowers the enemy's general defense and power defense by 5 tiers. Okay. Raises guilt buff by 200% and does more damage the more gauges that are full also has a 15 percent chance of piercing the enemy's defense and pvp okay uh supernova single target supernova for two attacks raises upright metal strength by 1000 uh increases your general strength upright strength and power strength by 15 tiers lowers the enemy's general defense upright defense and power defense by 15 tiers ignores the target's defense boost oh my god that's insane okay uh triggers before slot six is activated when defending in pvp okay so the supernova pierces defense beast that's actually that's actually insane uh for pvp specifically okay now for supernova plus kingdom hearts leon dissidia i think it's basically the same exact thing just the magic version yeah it's literally the same exact thing just the magic version the, uh, the damage multiplier is just slightly different. It's just point, like... It's 53.76 to 70. Okay, it's it's just slightly... Oh, you guys can't see it that well. But yeah. It's just slightly different. But otherwise, the rest of it is almost exactly the same, just the magic version. Okay. Now, overall, going back to what I was mentioning before about the whole three attack thing, okay? Because of the fact, regardless of whether or not we like it or not, okay, the Moogle Shop is now part of the game. So, because of that, and of course, this will vary according to whether or not you actually do or do not get VIP to help you get the discounted uh, traits from the Moogle Shop. But because of the fact that the Moogle Shop does now exist, what that means is that you should be focusing more than ever on trying to get at least extra on tack, extra attack trait 
on a good portion of your most important metal. Okay. Primarily because of the fact that you want to stack your abilities, most notably any of the strength buff, okay, strength increase abilities as much as possible. Okay. And because of that, because you're trying to get as many of those type of metals to have extra attack, what that means is that for metals like Cloud and Leon, if they're going to have extra attack, especially for PvP, you would want them to have extra attack to increase the chances of that de uh, that, de that defense piercing boost to happen, okay? That means that the first cast, all right, that's being used to act to, to use the ability, that counts as one attack, okay? The extra attack portion counts as a second attack. So by the time you get to the next metal, you only have one cast left for that 2500 strength to actually matter. In which case, it's not that great. It, it's not that great. The Because uh, realistically, you would want a metal strength buff like this to be used early on in the setup. I'll go ahead and go to a setup real quick, just to kind of show you guys. All right, so this is my sleeping lion, for example. You would want your biggest strength increase medals to be towards the beginning of your keyblade setup after your buffer medal. Okay, so in this situation, I would want it in like my slot two, so that way it could go throughout my entire keyblade and make my other medals as strong as possible when when you get to them. Okay, that's how it is ideally. Now, because of the fact that they only last for three attacks, what you could do is use them in your pet slot instead. So that way, at the very least, it goes for a big bang, you know, final hit punisher type. Um, it's not the ideal usage, but that is something you could do. Now, keep in mind that these are pretty much almost strictly PvP type metals. So that alone already makes me go, mm, not sure it's really worth it weren't you know really worth going for because there's already a good amount of defense uh piercing metals in the game we have uh you know we have obviously have monster sora we have kingdom Hearts 3 roxas we have zeus um and i think even some of the uh upgraded supernova plus metals uh have it too i think it was it like illustrated ventus and aqua or something like that we have quite a few defense piercing like metals already in the game so to add a few more isn't really gonna be the biggest of difference now if you are if you are a p like a heavy pvp player though okay and to be honest there's not that many of us at the moment <laughs> a lot of us just just play pvp just to get our dailies uh on top of the fact to get whatever the weekly rewards are at this point okay but if you do really enjoy if you still enjoy pvp uh one of the main reasons why you would want to get this medal is not for the uh where is it not for the 2500 strength buff, although that is nice, okay? Not for that, not for the defense piercing boost in the main ability either. It would be strictly for the supernova because of the fact that the supernova guarantees ignores the enemy's defense. And because of that, your supernova is gonna do absolutely insane amounts of damage every single time guaranteed against the opponent, okay? Um, probably even guaranteed like 10 billion damage or something, maybe easily, most likely. Okay, that would probably be one of the main reasons why you would even want Kingdom Hearts Cloud or Leon from uh, the city. Pretty much the only reason. However, if you're not that big on PvP, um, you're not trying to get to the top or anything like that, this is a very easy skip, most notably because of the fact that it's almost strictly. Or PvP. <laughs> um, the fact that the supernova is single, it's only a single target, is not, you can't use it in all types of situations. You can only use it in single target situations, of course. Uh, the fact that the supernova does buff fully, though, strength, upright, and power strength to max, as well as debuff the enemy to, ma uh, to max as well, that is a nice bonus. Okay, so that is worth noting. Although the, it's not a big deal though, just because of the fact that a lot of metals these days, especially a lot of tier nine and tier 10 metals already provide most of the buffs and debuffs you need in the first place. 
So that by the time you even reach like your second or third medal, you should already be having all of your buffs and debuffs maxed out. So it's really not that big of a deal. The fact that Leon and Cloud kind of already provide near maxed out or already maxed out buffs and debuffs in their supernova or base ability. Um, and even more notably, because of like I mentioned before, now that the Moogle Shop is in the game, whether you like it or not, you should be trying to get extra attack on some of your more important metals. For example, your Kingdom Hearts 3 Kyrie A, your Shion A, any of your copy metals. These are probably the most important metals you want to try and get attack extra attack on first. Um, even if you're a poor boy and you only have 5,000 duels, is barely. Make sure you at least get that extra attack on your most important metals, such as Kyrie and Shion, okay? Because um, just extra attack on these two alone will guarantee, will already right there from the get go, guarantee almost all your boss and debuffs. Um, the only ones you would actually have to worry about are getting at least one more tier of upright or reverse buffs and debuffs, and that's it. But most, like, tier 9 and tier 10 medals these days already provided, like, easily 7 or 10 tiers of those. So, by the time you reach your second medal, you already have maxed out buffs because the medal itself will provide the rest of it. So, yeah. Overall, the medals are good, but they're more almost kind of completely biased towards just pvp so if you're not a pvp player you don't really need to chase for them they're not that special if you are a pvp player though they are worth chasing for just because of how busted that supernova is uh now in terms of the banners themselves let's go ahead and take a bit, look back at them we have three banners we have there's there's they seem to be kind of doing this new type of style somewhat lately where all of the featured metals are in are guaranteed in the free to play banner whereas they're splitting them up in the uh in the vip banner so again so at the release this time i do appreciate the fact that they just kept the mercy the same amount for both the free to play and the vip so now you can actually choose if you do give vip whereas you know, like how it was with the foreteller, which I didn't enjoy. I didn't like it at all. Where they made it like five mercy pull for the free to play, but then ten mercy pull for VIP. Granted, granted, in their defense, they did give us a shit ton of jewels. The in like that first week or two, um, absolute bonkers amount. Like easy, what like fifteen to thirty k. So in their defense, that makes sense. But yeah, other than that, it's not. It's not that great. There's nothing special about the banners. They're pretty much almost exactly the same. VIP just gets a little bit more, you know, specialized selection. Um, well, other than that, go ahead and let me know what your thoughts and opinions are about the new Dissidia medals in the comment section down below. I personally really enjoy the artwork. It's just unfortunate that the abilities aren't that special <laughs> and aren't really worth chasing. But if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like, subscribe, and hit that bell button. It's the best way I know when I upload more videos such as this one. My name is Brian from K-Hawks Nation, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, guys.